welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to achieve a roller set look on natural hair without it actually being in rollers. So I'm going to do two styles and the first is kind of simple and then towards the end we'll do it a little bit more fancy. So to start off this style, I am taking out some side pieces. Now I have my hair two strand twisted in the front, but that's just so that I don't put, put any pressure on my edges. So it's not really part of the style, it's just something I'm doing at the moment. So I want two side pieces, so I'm going to take out two side pieces and then because I have to twist in the front, I'm just going to twirl them and stick them through the twists that are in the front. So that for the finished look, they will kind of hang around my face. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to put my hair into two low ponytails because I want to have two chunky curls in the back. So once I have it in the low ponytails, I'm just going to kind of detangle it a little bit and then use my product of choice, which is going to be my conditioner, Giovanni's Deeper Moisture Conditioner. And I'm going to put in just a little bit because again, my hair is blow dried and I don't want it to start reverting. So I'm only going to put in a little bit, like smaller than a dime, just a little bit. That was a little bit too much, it took a little while. So I put that in there and I rub it through my hands as much as possible and then I work it through my hair starting with the ends because that's going to be really, really important. Okay, so this is going to kind of look like the Bantu knot, but remember we want it to look like it was in a roller set, so we have to do it a little bit differently. Now when we did the Bantu knot, you twirled it. But in this case, you do not want to twirl it. You want your hair to be as flat as possible. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my hair and I am pulling it as I go, but I'm trying to keep it super, super flat because I want it to keep going around the bun, but be flat at the same time. So I'm going to show you again on this other side. So a little bit of conditioner. Work that through. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one hand, whatever hand feels most comfortable, and you're going to hold the ponytail. And as you work it around, the first circle that it's going to do has to go around your finger so that you can kind of keep it tight. And then you'll slowly move your finger out the way. Keep wrapping, but keep your hair flat around the butt. So do not twirl at all. Keep it flat. And you can see my hair is already starting to curl up. So I'm trying to move fast, but I'm also pulling tight so that it's going around the butt. And so the size of the bun is going to determine the size of the curl. So that is why I really want to make sure it's flat and I keep wrapping it around the bun until I get to the very, very end. And that is when I allow the hair to go underneath the bun to make sure that the ends have a curl also. Okay, so the next day, and this usually takes about a day to dry, so I don't have to keep it in too long, so that's always good. So the next day, you go to take it out, and you need something on your hands to, have, to give it a slip. And for me, it's going to be the Vaseline, but if you can use oils, you would use an oil, just so that your fingertips can have a slip. Now, while I'm taking it out, I'm pulling it out so that when I pull it off, of the ponytail holder it will still have a curl that was a little bit difficult to do only because I had the side pieces in there too so after I rolled the two back buns then I just twirled the side pieces around so they would have a curl also so here you can see the curl then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side 
So you're pulling it gently, but you're trying to pull from the base of the ponytail because you don't want to mess up your curl, you don't want to cause frizz, so you're pulling it from the base of the ponytail and pulling it straight down so that you can see a curl. This side definitely came out a lot better. Now when you put in your ponytail to start this look, you don't want to put the ponytail in as tight as you can make it because you have to unravel it. So if you can have it just tight enough but not way too tight because you want to be able to pull it through your hair like I just did. So you don't want to, when you're pulling it through your hair, you don't want it to be so tightly wrapped around your hair that it's actually causing tension because then you're going to lose the curl that you tried to form. Down carefully, unwrapping a ponytail holder, trying not to mess up my curl too much. And once the ponytail holder is a little bit wide, then I can just pull it straight off there. So I'm going to stick my side pieces in my glasses. That's just how I like it. I just like for it to be in there. So I'm going to stick it in my glasses and then I'm going to massage my scalp. And I'm massaging my scalp to kind of bring the hair down. Because my hair is natural and because it was blow dried and not flat ironed, it has to, it kind of gets stuck in certain positions. So I just want to massage it a little bit to kind of bring it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin the hat on the side so that it will stay in place. And then I'm going to do just like I did in my previous video and put two bobby pins in the back to kind of help it stay down as well. And then that is the finished look. So I'm going to have two chunky curls on the side and some side pieces, which I love. Um, you can play with this style a lot. Most times, I actually do a deep side part. So this is, I think this is the first time I did a middle part. I usually do a deep side part and then let that kind of swoop across my forehead and then go into the curls on the side. So I thought this look was a little bit different. And then you also can, sometimes I might put a bun maybe at the very, very top of my head and then still have the curls in the back. You know, bangs, whatever you want, just play with it. Like I said, I used to do this style years ago, and I was just recently thinking, well, what if I made a bunch of ponytails? What would it look like then? And it turned out great, and I loved it. So what I did was I had, I think, six ponytails, maybe six to seven ponytails, and I kind of did the same exact thing. Um, a little bit of product, which is conditioner for me. And then wrapping it around the ponytails. Now, because these were smaller, I had to make sure that the ponytails definitely were not wrapped too tight because I knew the curl would be very sensitive. So I didn't want to mess it up. So same thing, having my finger there to start, then wrapping it around and keeping it flat. So they kind of look like donuts on my head. So wrapping it around, keep it tight, but keep it flat. 
try to make it as flat as possible because that is going to determine the size of the curl so you don't want it to get too skinny on you. You want it to be kind of wide. Now for me, I kind of went with kind of medium sized curls was what I was looking for. So depending on the curl, that would also depend on the part that you use. So if you have really thick hair, maybe you're going to use a smaller part. Or if you have fine hair like me, you might have to use a bigger part to kind of get the curl that you want. So I have these little donuts all over my head. And then the next day took them out and they were perfect. Now, when I took these one, these out, they were a little bit easier to take out than the other ones because it didn't have like a little piece, a little side piece in it. And it looks just like you put it on a roller, even though you didn't. You keep it flat. And it was bouncy. And what I loved about this style was that it lasted me for a long time. Um, again, if you want to refresh it, I use a little bit of conditioner to refresh it. So that was probably like every other day. But it lasted me for about a week, maybe a week and a half, which is really good. And depending on the texture of your hair, so I have 4Z hair. That's why I'm gonna start calling my hair because I have like the curliest hair ever. So, depending on the texture of your hair, you can decide if you wanna separate them. So I'm gonna actually separate these curls, but if you wanted to keep them big and chunky, you have that option too. I didn't really wanna keep it big and chunky for me, um, because I felt like it needed to have more movement and the only way to get that was to separate them So I did separate them and if needed if I felt like one came out a little too loose when I started to separate then You just twirl it around your finger in the direction of the curl that you want it to go Most times I want my curls to swoop towards my face So whenever I do whenever I roll my hair around a knot or whatever the case may be I make sure that I roll it going backwards as if it's going behind me and then that will create a curl that kind of swoops towards my face going it backwards. So it had a lot of movement which I love and as the days went on it got fluffier which I thought was really nice also. So I'm going to finish taking these out. And I'm kind of massaging my scalp as I go along just because I, I want this look to be full this time. Um, so I wanted to make sure I massage my scalp as I go along to kind of get the hair to start moving so it wouldn't get stuck in one place. Enjoyed it. It got gave me a lot of different curls, um, kind of different sizes depending on what part of the hair it was. So that that was really neat. And then, if you want to make it fuller, of course you can use a pick or a comb to pick it out at the roots to kind of bring it up. But it really was awesome for me. It lasted a while, and I enjoyed it. And that's just as the days go on, it's getting kind of fluffy. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I also hope that you try it out. Try it out um, and see how it works for you. How to get these roller set looking curls without using rollers. So you do not have to sleep with rollers in your head. You can get some good sleep and still get a really nice curl.
Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.